Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Mark Collins. We're talking football here and thousands of people this weekend will be in town for the Georgia Florida game. And I think, uh, well, Gators are going to have a hard time this year with the Bulldogs being at number one defeated. But hey, I'm staying out of that. We're talking about weather. So what I'm watching is the weather. So I'm more focused on that than the game because this is kind of an interesting situation. We're going to be sandwiched between two weather systems, a front from the west and then possible uh, subtropical system out over the Atlantic. I wrote about it on the News for Jack's website, but I want to show you exactly what the article kind of talks about, and that's this frontal system. Not this one. This one's given in, given the tailgaters a really nice weather pattern that's the one that comes through on Wednesday with some scattered showers so that means that Thursday and Friday we're going to be dealing with the dry days but notice that area low pressure out there over the Atlantic that is an area low pressure on Saturday that will be in the general vicinity of uh, our area just east of Jacksonville. So out there far enough where we're not getting any rain from it, but it will increase our winds. And because those winds will be picking up out of the Northeast on Saturday, it'll be a little breezy in the stadium, but it could also draw back some of these coastal showers. Now I think this is like three o'clock in the afternoon. The model puts a lot of that rain a little bit too far inland. So I don't think we're gonna have much rain at the game, but there could be some showers along the beach, but we will have these low clouds kind of hanging out. This is the front. The area low pressure will actually be moving towards the north. And then this warm front comes through during the evening, bringing in some showers so that Sunday morning we might get some rain out of it. But right now it looks like the forecast is going to keep the rain out of the outlook. Only maybe a 20% chance of rain with temperatures around the upper 70 degree mark here uh, at the warmest during the kickoff. So in general, I think you've got good plans to be outdoors, especially if you're tailgating and the temperatures are not going to be too hot with those clouds and that breeze. But I do think that we'll have to be watching for some rip currents. If folks are coming in town and they want to plan, out, plan to go to the beach, watch out because it's not going to be that great of a beach day on Saturday because of the large surf and those rip currents. So hopefully your favorite team wins and uh, keep it here on newsforjacks.com.